So Desert Treasure 2 has been out for a couple of days now and I've been grinding at the bosses quite a lot and I just want to show you well what I've learned so far and of course if we've got any rare drops. Okay we've upgraded guys. What we've done here is we've swapped out our Twisted Bow for a Tumican Shadow. I hope I don't come to regret this. I mean the prices were pretty much the exact same. 1.3 bill for either of them. The Shadow is really good at the Whisperer and the Twisted Bow is not really good at any of the new bosses so I decided to make the trade. Hopefully we didn't uh, screw ourselves here too hard. Now the Shadow is a gigantic improvement over the Sanguinesti, that's what I was using before. But we're going to be committed here for a while now. Okay, just like that, new personal best, 258. Well, I'm sure we can get that lower. Now the Shadow is a gigantic improvement over the Sanguinesti. The only thing that I find a little bit annoying about it is the 5 tick attack cycle. It makes it kind of awkward to do the Whisperers in Rage phase, but that's a small price to pay for a gigantic DPS increase. Oh, look at that, guys. Another Awakener's Orb. These things are going for nearly 3 mil right now. I don't think anyone really knows how much these are worth because, because the Awakened form of the bosses are coming out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, nobody knows how hard it's going to be, how many tries are going to be required. In my mind, though, there's no way these things are going to be worth this much in even a week's time. So I think we're just going to dump them in right now. We're going to try to keep the rest of our other loot, but <laughs> these are worth too much. 2.7 mil for that one. That's like a Zolra drop right there. And these things, I think, are pretty common. That's our second one and only 40 kills. Now one thing you'll notice if you look at any of the drop tables for the new bosses is there's two quantities for each normal drop. There's a regular amount and then there's one that has 50% more. Now somehow you can earn 50% more loot when you meet certain unknown requirements as of yet. People seem to think it has something to do with avoiding unnecessary damage from the boss mechanics but we don't really know for sure. Now I've been trying to figure out how to get the improved loot. Like, in this skill, I got it. Uh, 157 Adamantite Ore is actually from the 50% improved common loot table. No idea how I got it though. I, this was not a clean kill. I took damage. This is not even close to a perfect kill, so I have no idea why I got it here. From what I can gather though is it's not a 100% guaranteed thing. I mean, I've done a 100% perfect kill, took zero damage, did all the mechanics properly, and I got the normal variant of the loot table. So, so who knows exactly how this works currently. You sometimes get it, but not always. <laughs> hey, well, there's a new PB, 2 minutes 50 seconds. Ooh, look at that. 70 battle stamps, 550k. Uh, that's what I really like about the Whisperer is the common loot, there's actually some very high value items here. So although the kill times are longer, the common loot is definitely a lot better. So primarily I'm killing the Whisperer because I invested into the Tumican Shadow and we're going to try to get maybe a couple hundred kills there, but we're just taking a break now and again to try out some of the other bosses. We've done a few kills of Vordovis, I'm still getting the hang of things, I mean I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage here. Hey, there we go, the Strangled Tablet, that's awesome, we only got 7 kills, okay we must have got kind of lucky on that one. This will give us the teleport location to Stranglewood which is really nice because we've been running a long ways to get here. I'm really happy to get that one out of the way quickly, we'll go add that to our Ring of Shadows. Okay, so we did a slight gear alteration here, we've purchased ourselves the Accursed Scepter. This is a really cheap spec weapon that we can use to lower the Whisperer's Mage defense. Everything else about our setup is the same, pretty much max mage beyond the new ring of course. And so far it's actually I think made a pretty big difference. The kills are definitely quicker when you hit a big spec. Not to mention it can actually hit a very high number on its own. Oh my god look at that. Seven dragon plate skirts, literally orange text again. Oh it's such a huge drop. I think that's the third time I've gotten this so far, holy. Currently up to 54 kills at the Whisperer. Oh my god, we've been stuck in this crypt for an eternity and uh, I really need a shave. Luckily Manscaped now offers the Beard Hedger Pro Kit the sponsor of today's video. Manscaped isn't just for your uh, sacred area anymore, the Beard Hedger Pro Kit has everything you need to craft your own unique beard style. The kit comes with a ton of different things, but the most important one is of course the Beard Hedger. This is honestly a really awesome razor. It's completely cordless and waterproof, but probably my favorite feature is it uses this rotary wheel to instantly adjust between 20 different cut lengths. So no more cluttered drawers in the bathroom, you can just easily switch them. The razor uses a titanium coated T-blade which gives you a very precise shave but leaves your skin completely smooth. Now once you're done shaving you can then move on to the dermatologist tested beard shampoo and conditioner. 
These are specifically designed for your beard and can actually help reduce ingrown hairs and promote beard health. The final step is applying the finishing products, the Manscaped Beard Oil or the Manscaped Beard Balm. You can use these to craft yourself a unique look, either toned down and chill, like I do, or completely bombastic, it's up to you. Regardless of your style though, this kit will definitely improve your beard and I would definitely recommend giving it a try. Right now you can actually claim a special offer for my channel viewers. Simply enter the code 20flipping at manscaped.com to get 20% off your order and free shipping. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com just by using the code 20flipping. And thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring the video. Oh yes, another Awakener's Orb. It says it's worth 3 mil right now, that's literally like the same value as like a Tanzanite Fang. Except we're getting these every like 30 kills or so. Oh my god. 700 raw monkfish. Jeez, 144k for that drop. That's a lot of goddamn monkfish. Okay, we're gonna dump the Awakener's Orb in here for now because we don't want to hold on to that too long. And it sold for 3.2 mil. Yeah, we'll take that. Hey, there we go, another PB. 2 minutes, 41 seconds. No doubt this is the slowest boss of all of them. I've seen kill times as low as 2 minutes, so it is possible to get them lower, but 3 minutes is a more realistic average for, you know, not having max gear and practicing still, so, so it's definitely quite a slow boss. You're at most getting maybe 20 kills per hour right now. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Another 7 Dragon Plate Skirts on kill count 78. I I'm not sure if I'm getting lucky with this because we've gotten this, I think, 4 times now. This is an obscene amount of Dragon Plate Skirts. We don't even have room for them right now, oh my god. So there we go guys, 100 kills are done at the Whisperer so far. The only change in my gear so far is we're bringing a blowpipe right now because the blowpipe has a much higher attack speed. We're using it to kill the ghosts quicker. Previously I was just killing the two Vita ghosts which would give you health back and not fail the mechanic. But now we can actually use the blowpipe to perfectly kill the four MOR ghosts which will actually successfully do the mechanic and deal 50 damage to the Whisperer. So if you're doing the kills perfectly, this is actually just an easy way to speed up the kill times. I've heard the Venator bow is really good here, so maybe we'll try that out in a bit. The timing is a little tight with the blowpipe, but we can just get it in time to kill the four Moore's ghosts. And look at that, 50 damage, easy. Ooh, look at that, <laughs> Chromium Ignit. A new collection log, so I guess we'll take it. They're not worth a ton right now because I think there's way less of the, you know, vestiges coming into the game versus these Chromium Ignits, but a new collection log will take it. And you know, it's some money, it's like a mil still, so that's... Nothing to scoff at. I'm just printing dragon plate skirts right now. Oh my god. Kill count 131. We get another seven of them. Unfortunately, we've never gotten the boost to drop rate from this. I've tried so many different things, and honestly, it seems kind of random when you get the increased loot versus when you don't. But hey, more alcohols. We'll take it. Okay, that's got to be a new personal best. There's no way. Oh my god, look at that. We actually got a unique item. Shadow Chords on kill count 137. And yeah, look at that. By far our personal best. We just shaved off, I think, 12 seconds from our last best. That kill only took 2 minutes, 19 seconds. Plus, we got the Shadow Quartz, which means we can actually go and upgrade an Ancient Scepter, which I believe we should have. There we go, we got one in the bank already. So if we use the Shadow Quartz on it, we can upgrade it into the Shadow Ancient Scepter. Now, this will do the exact same thing as a regular Ancient Scepter. It has a 10% magic damage bonus with Ancient Magics, but now it'll actually lower the target's uh, attack, strength, and defense levels. When you cast Shadow Spells, kind of niche, I don't think I'm going to use it, but you never know, we'll check into the bank, I guess. Oh my god, we actually got the staff piece, the Siren Staff on kill count 141, holy crap. I think that's really rare, actually. I've not seen many of these come to the game. As of this drop, I don't think there's a single Soul Reaper Axe in the entire game, but we now have one quarter of it. Oh my god, that's actually really, really lucky, I think. Unfortunately, um, this item is not tradable, otherwise we could sell it probably for a few hundred mil at least. Now, this actually leaves an interesting dilemma. I'm enjoying this boss, but now it probably makes sense for me to go to another boss. But there's kind of some conflicting mechanics going on here. So we have the four... Axe pieces for the Soul Reaper Axe, which kind of would incentivize you to hop around to different bosses. But the way the ring drops work, it is actually incentivize you to stick at the same boss for a while. Thanks to some new drop mechanics, you actually need to get three pieces of a ring to get the actual drop, but the first two are invisible. This means the earliest you can actually get a ring drop on is theoretically KC number three, but that would still be incredibly lucky. This pretty much means the odds would be going incredibly dry. 
very, very low, but also the odds of you getting the drop on your first kill, well, it's impossible, but getting really lucky is also much rarer than the normal drop system. So do I stay here and try to get the Bellator ring, which is like a 400 mil drop? Or do I hop around to the other bosses and try to complete the axe? I don't know, it's such a pipe dream, but who knows, we could get it. Okay, there is kill count 150 at the Whisperer. We've been primarily focusing on this boss. I think I'm gonna try to get to 200 today if I can, see if we can get even more lucky. Ooh, we love to see it. Another Awakener's Orb, kill count 153. So far, it seems like these things are like a 1 in 25 drop, but you know, there's no way to know for sure. Okay, we made some gear changes here. We purchased ourselves the Venator Bow and the Saturated Heart. The Saturated Heart just gives you the biggest magic boost out of any item, so it's just gonna increase my DPS. The Venator Bow is an interesting one. You can use it to kill every single ghost during that special attack, and by doing it that way, you can actually deal 75 damage to the Whisperer versus 50. So beyond the Tumican Shadow, I think the Venator Bow is the biggest upgrade to kill times you can get, but it's a very expensive item right now. They're going for 50 mil, which is way more than they probably should, but it's really, really good here. Look at that, another Awakener's Orb on kill count 184, another 2.5 mil for that bad boy. Help offset uh, more of our deaths because, yeah, we're still dying pretty often. Oh my god, that was such a quick kill. I don't even know how it happened there. 2 minutes 14 seconds, that is eclipsed my last personal best by a significant amount. We just got so lucky with the shadow hits. I mean, it really comes down to the shadow to get quick kill speeds. Yes, everything else is nice to speed things up, but if your shadow's whiffing, it doesn't really matter. There we go. Finally, 200 kills has been done at the Whisperer. With the experience I now have with the boss, maybe that's only 10 hours of a kill time, but I, I feel like that probably took me closer to 15, even longer with deaths and running back and learning new mechanics, stuff like that. So it's been a process, but 200 kills is a solid amount, I still think. And we've gotten really lucky. I mean, we got the Siren Staff. That's more than we could ever ask for. Ooh, two kills later, we're just finishing up the trip and another orb drop. We will take that. So we're trying out a new strategy here. We're trying out a Thrall setup. Now you might be wondering, how are you going to do that? Because, you know, the Whisperer freezes you and will smack you with melee, which does a lot of damage. That's true. But there's actually a way to avoid that entirely by being far enough away from the Whisperer and this will allow you to use Thralls, which is just more DPS overall, plus avoiding having to use a Ice Barrage is just higher DPS. That's a Shadow Hit instead, which does more damage. So the idea is once you come out of the special attack, you run far enough away, like halfway across the screen, and this will give you enough time to unfreeze before the Whisperer reaches you. And if you just move a single tile backwards, uh, that's it, you've cancelled her melee attack and you can just continue on with the fight, which is just a quicker way to do the whole thing overall. That was a nice kill, but, and another Awakener's Orb, oh my god, we'll take it. Okay, you know what I'm tired of? Dying and having to run back. So what we're going to do is get ourselves a second Ring of Shadows. To do that, you have to do a really weird roundabout method. You cannot get another one normally, so the only way to get one is to fill up your inventory with an untradeable item such as the door key from Witch's House, uh, you die with the Ring of Shadows on you and that will allow it to actually drop onto the ground. From there, you can go get another one from the Mysterious Bandit for 75k and then go pick your other one up off the ground. Such a weird method, but definitely worth doing because for some reason, the Ring of Shadow is not kept on death, which means if you die at the boss, you have to run back instead of teleporting back, which is uh, kind of annoying. So I think my plan for the next little while is to actually grind out Vardorvis. Maybe we can get the Axe Head, in which case we'd be halfway to the Soul Reaper Axe. I'm torn though, do I want to try to make some money back now and just grind out a Ring Drop and try to, you know, actually come out ahead here? Or do I want to go big, go for the Axe and maybe complete a 2-3 bill item? Here's roughly the loot though from 200 Whisperer kills. Primarily, we're looking at a bunch of Awakener's Orbs, a ton of Dragon Plate Skirts, Battle Staffs, that's making up the bulk of the profit. On top of that, though, we also got our Smoke Quartz, and of course, the most rare drop of all, probably, the Siren Staff, which means I think overall, for 200 kills, we came out way ahead. We're still looking for the Vestige, but uh, maybe we'll get that in the next couple of days. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.